Welcome back, everybody, to some more P5R. I'm your host, The Musical Gamer. We are awaiting Okamura's change of heart. We got about 16 days to go, so uh, let's not waste any time and hop right into it. We're gonna go hang out with Yoshida today because he is a lonely man who needs some uh, <laughs> needs some company as he runs for re-election. So why don't we go uh, go say hi? Uh, also, I think we have. Uh, of course, I went to the wrong place again. I will never go to the station square 182. Uh, we picked up a uh, lottery ticket, right? Yes, yes, we did. I could not remember for the life of me. I also believe we did get our Everyone. juice on earlier. <laughs> if you can't tell, it's uh, it's been a good, good couple evening. of days since I last recorded, so I can't remember the things I did. Uh, how is my availability? Well, we have Mithras, but not that that matters. Our bond will grow stronger soon. Let's help out. Thank you, Yoshida, Mr. Politician, giving a speech in the Phantom Thieves. There's some things I want you to hear, so please come and listen to it. Oh boy. All right. I mean, I don't have a problem, in theory. Stage is set. Thank you. Thank you. I appreciate it, but I know you're not going to be my right-hand man, right? Don't worry, I won't pull any tricks. Feel free to talk about being falsely accused. I'll handle whatever comes from it. I saw Kuramoto's grandson around here somewhere. Bet he's curious about today's speech. I see. I haven't spoken to him since we last met. The speech should serve as your response to him. I didn't think of any of the parties with back no Gatora. He's going to talk about the Phantom Thieves, right? Couldn't care less about him. I'm just interested in hearing about the Phantom Thieves. Very well. Okay. I'm going to get started. Alright, break a leg, dude. Yes. Will do. Everyone. The reason they're causing such a stir is because they are addressing the world's problems. What are you doing, Toranosuke? Setting aside whether their actions are right or wrong, there is only one thing I can safely say about the Phantom Thieves. A belief with conviction has the ability to move a person's heart. I... I'm sure you are all aware that I am no good Torah, the one accused of embezzlement. I was a fool 20 years ago. It's no wonder that I was considered a failure as a politician. However, because I was accused like that, I was able to understand the suffering of the weak. The most important Why am thing I is... in politics? In the past, it was merely for personal gain. But why do the Phantom Thieves continue to change hearts? I believe they do it for the world and its people. And in choosing to do justice for others, they had no choice but to disguise themselves. No matter what the world says, I fully support them. I... I'm just an average citizen. However, I will continue to voice my beliefs. I may not be able to become a died member this election, and I may not be able to effect change during my lifetime. However, but I've made my peace with that. I will be happy, as long as I can be a meaningful stepping stone for the future of our youth. Thank you for listening. Hey, that's a good speech right there. I set the stage for nothing. You have no intention of accusing your old man, Kuramoto? Yes. That's right. Sheesh, such a heartfelt speech for someone your age. People are probably laughing at you as we speak. I doubt any of them were moved by your words. I might be the only one in this entire city who was. Matsushita? Proceed as you wish with your candidacy. I'll take, mem I'll take measures to ensure the party backs. Hey, there you go, dude. I'll catch you later. You did it! You stood up for what you believed mm. in and it still worked out. My candidacy, huh? What an unexpected turn of events. The Phantom Thieves. Perhaps it's the effect of you moving my heart. Uh, you had to change your heart, dude! <laughs> that must be it. Still, I have you to thank for all of this. The Phantom Thieves. The power to change a person's heart. I don't possess a special power like they do, but I won't lose to them when it comes to conviction. Speech is my only weapon, just my voice and my words. That's how I win people over. Thank you. Thank you for sticking by my side, Gamaku. Hey, no problem. I, uh, I do what I can. That is rank nine. One more. One right. more rank and the Sun Arcana will be complete. <laughs> Contrary to what I thought, getting your heart stolen isn't such a bad thing. He's a member of the Phantom Thieves, then. Ah, I'm talking to myself again. Another bad habit of mine. 
Time to finish up for today. Well then, I'll see you again. Oh, I'll catch you later. Ring a ding a ding. Hello. Oh, my sweet! How are you doing? Thank you so much. Uh, what? What's wrong? I'm sorry. I'm just so happy. I just got out of that meet I was talking to you about, and my routine was the best I've ever given so far. Hey, there you go. I knew you could do it. I just wanted to thank you for that. <laughs> but why me? I, it's not like I did anything. You're the reason I've come so far, senpai. You helped me so much, even with the mundane things. I just can't thank you enough. Please, I want to thank you again. As soon as I get the results, I'll let you know. So I'll be messaging you again sometime soon. I better get going. Have a good night. Aw, oh, she's a sweetheart. I'm glad things are going well for her, though. That's, that's good. It's good for me to know. God, we haven't uh, seen or heard from her from uh, since uh, Hawaii. Good morning. Ah, good morning, Makoto. Hello. Palace is gone, so I guess we're waiting for a while. What do you guys do at times like these? Uh, take a break, honestly. I see. I suppose it'll do us good to take it easy every now and again. Still, don't go overboard. You can't forget your primary duties as a high schooler. It's important to play the part of a diligent student, right? Uh, yeah, but my knowledge is maxed, man. I've already got my max knowledge. I don't, I don't need to. I don't need to play the part of a diligent student. I've already done that. <laughs> Just let me go have fun, mom, please. All right, who's available? We have Amaruki. Looks like we'll be hanging out with you because I think we're almost done with you too. As you can tell, my paper just needs some finishing touches. you would be welcome to drop by even without the academic excuse, of course. Huh. Well, I mean, it would be a good idea, but is that a... Uh, that is Haru. Hello there, Haru. Sorry to say common, all we can do is wait. Oh yeah, still haven't finished that request from the forum, right? Yes, we do still have some memento stuff, but not that much. I think it'd be wiser to maybe wait on that for a minute. So, I think we'll go hang out with Marky. There's no reason not to. We have Dekarabia. Let's go see him. I'm running you in the nurse's office. All right. I'll catch you there, Daddy-o. Thank you. Thanks for coming. You see... There's actually something I wanted to talk to you about. I know this is a little personal, but... You remember how my former girlfriend came up the other day? Rumi? Yeah, I do. We were engaged, if you can believe that. She was so cheerful. I mean, she could get pretty aggressive. She was always kind of hot-headed, but always so kind, too. She was the best thing that ever happened to me. Well, what happened then? I didn't deserve her, but if we had our shot, I, my life would have been so much happier than it ever ever been. <laughs> but reality's never that simple. A burglar broke into her family's home. Wait, what? Rumi and I had been visiting. We were there to see what he'd done to them. It was just bad luck. But he didn't end there. He must have been desperate to escape. He attacked Rumi on his way. Whoa, 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 wait, what? I was right there with her and I couldn't do anything. <laughs> Pathetic, right? We were lucky Rumi's injuries weren't more severe. Or physical ones, at least. But the shock of the incident was too much. She had a mental breakdown. We talked about that, didn't we? How wounds of the heart aren't as straightforward as physical ones? She never really recovered from what happened. Even after all this time. I kind of lost myself in that pain for a while, too. God damn, man. Why? She didn't deserve that. None of them did. None of them did anything wrong. Sorry. I'm sorry. When I saw her in that hospital bed, I made a vow. I swore that I would do all I could to fight it back against the unfairness of reality. If someone suffered like that, I'd help. Like I said before, Rumi's in a better mental place now. She's happy. But that pain I felt back then, that's how this project was born. And thanks to you, I finally found the true goal of that research, too. I don't care how long it takes me. I'll make my dream come true. <laughs> for Rumi's sake, of course, but for you too, Gamer Coon. I honestly don't have the words to say what all this means to me. But I can at least say this. Thank you so much for everything. Thanks to you, I found my answer. And once it's ready, I hope you'll let me use it to help you find the happiness you deserve. What? What do you mean? 
My path is clear now. I think this will probably be the last time I come to you about the paper. Wait, what? What do you mean? Well, hold, hold on. This is kind of sad, yeah. I know how you feel. It mean a lot to me, too. I'll let you know when I finally finish that paper. When I do, I'll have to thank you one last time. You helped me see my dream through. I owe you so much. Now, but for now, I should uphold my end of the deal. I've got a really special one for you today. I think you're ready for something on another level now. Oh, okay, sure. What? What, what are we getting? Detox DX raises the chance of detox X is eating. All right, cool. All right, that's a, that's a fair one, I suppose. There's one more thing I want to tell you, but it'll save until after I finish my paper. I just hope you can forgive me for it. Wait, what? What do you mean? Uh, oh, sorry. Uh, don't mind me. Sorry, that came out way too ominous. All right. Hey, more SP. And a uh, fulfiller. Cool. Well, see you. See ya. I guess we're done with them for the time being. We hit rank nine. I wonder. I wonder. I wonder what the point will be uh, when we can finish them off. Back. Or if it maybe it happens automatically. I don't know. Father was cooped up in his study again today. His reaction was quite vague when I spoke to him too. Is this what normally happens? Madarame was in a similar state after we changed his heart. It'll be okay, don't worry. All we have to do is wait. You're right. I'll just believe it's going to work. Thank you, and I'm sorry for asking so many times. I'll message you again if there's more progress. I get why Haru is worried. But let's just wait for the change of heart to go through. Don't worry. It'll be just like it always is. I hope so. Yo. Hey, Amazon! Thank you for coming, Amazon. I think those phantom wafers and those calling postcards oh. is kind of a useless gift, but hey, it's a gift nonetheless. Ah, coffee dad. Coffee dad is free. So is Oya. Oh yeah. I'm thinking maybe, and you for me. I'm thinking maybe we start spending the time with coffee dad again. <laughs> we gotta, we gotta spend some time boosting him very, very soon. Do we have a hyperfint on us? We do, Daisojo. That's right. This is a good time. We have time. Can you help me prepare dinner? Uh, we can get closer thanks to Dice, Sergio. Uh, hold on. Next time, then. Let me see. Okay, no, we, we don't have a crossword. Hey. I am not gonna make coffee. Let us spend some time with Coffee Dad. All right, then. Thanks. Futaba's coming to eat today, too. I'll get the curry ready. I'm leaving the coffee to you. <laughs> Phew, I am wicked full. How crowd was the curry, Futaba? Delicious. I'm gonna be dreaming of that stuff tonight. Um, did it taste the same as you remember it? Yup, I feel like a dummy for not wanting to eat it back when I was depressed about my mom. Oh, that's right. Oh yeah, the first episode of this brand new anime I wanna watch is airing tonight. I'm out of here. Eyes in front when you walk, okay? No spacing out. You ran headfirst into a bowl last time you went for a walk. Oh, Jesus! You're such a problem child. Well, you stubbed your toe on the dresser the other day. Oh, crap. It's gonna start. Making like a leaf and... Eh, screw it. Bye! <laughs> Thanks, Futaba. <laughs> she thought it was delicious. And what about you? Uh, me? I think I'm addicted to curry. It's all I've been eating for months at this point. Really? I guess you have pretty good taste if you can understand how incredible that curry is. Now then, there's probably something I should tell you. Here, take a seat. I'll pour you some coffee. Yeah. Remember how I said the recipe for this curry was developed by a scientific genius? You might have realized by now, but that genius was Futaba's mother, Wakaba. In other words, that curry is one of the last remaining connections Futaba has to her mom. Uh, makes sense. I first met Wakaba back when I was doing my work for the government. She was real trouble, let me tell you. Logic prevailed over emotion for her. She had an intricate knowledge of the human mind. I thought my pickup lines were the best in town, but not a single one worked on her. <laughs> okay. So she wasn't normal, huh? You could probably get a good idea just from looking at Futaba. Wakaba was like the adult version of that. It was almost impossible to keep up with her. Men are idiots, though. We spend our time chasing after things we can't get. Wakaba rejected me time and time again. But there was one instance I managed to surprise her. And that was when I gave her a plate of my homemade curry. 
The very next day, she came asking all about the ingredients and what goes into the cooking process. Then just a few days later, she handed me a scientifically enhanced version of my recipe. It was incredible. She'd used my curry as the basis, but it was still miles better than anything I made. Curry was Wakaba's specialty from then on. Naturally, Futaba grew to love it in no time as well. But then after Wakaba's accident, Futaba stopped eating it entirely. The flavor would make her remember the pain. I've heard even smells can bring back memories too. But that curry was the only point of connection I had with Futaba. That's why when I took her in, I vowed to keep this recipe alive until she could eat it again. Ah, so that's why you're so insistent on the curry. It almost brings a tear to my eye. Stop that, you're starting to creep me out. <laughs> the whole idea of bearing the curry with a nice brew is thanks to Wakaba's refinement, too. Despite how introverted she seemed, she was extraordinarily perceptive of the people around her. I never even told her about my love of coffee. She figured it out just from looking at me. That was when I realized she was totally out of my league. Not like I really stood a chance to begin with, though. She already had Futaba by then, after all. This might seem like any old curry to most people, but there's tons of emotions crammed inside. So, uh, make sure you keep the tradition going. <laughs> sure thing. I'll take those words to heart, Coffee Dad. And there we go, rank five. All right. We have begun the path. Yet again. <laughs> All right, that's enough of this for tonight. Things are getting downright sappy in here. The job is waiting for me at home, too. So I should probably be heading back. The rest is on you. Make sure you clean up before going to bed. All right, fair enough. Hey, some kindness. I will gladly take the kindness. Ring a ding a ding. Hello. Calling me like just five feet away. It's me. You finished cleaning up? Job is still watching anime. As long as she's in a good mood, though, I don't mind it. Seeing her so happy now makes me glad I kept Wakaba's curry alive. It's only a problem when she asks for it three times a day. <laughs> <laughs> what the hell? She needs a balanced diet, dude. You gotta get her off this shit. That's exactly my problem. Futaba's still growing. I gotta be strict with her. She needs to eat balanced meals so she gets vitamins that Curry can't give her. But man, the expression on Futaba's face when she took a bite of that curry. Eh, forget it. Maybe I'll have to stick with curry as a staple, but I can sneak in some veggies here and there. <laughs> Guess cooking really can be a labor of love. Ah, crap. I talk too much. See you later, I guess. Well, have a good night, Coffee Dad. Uh, good luck getting that gremlin to eat anything. Other than curry or instant noodles. It's all she eats. Wow. What's that smell? Did you get a new perfume? It's nice. Yeah, it's a new fall fragrance. It's supposed to be mysterious, like the Phantom Thieves. I thought I'd wear it to show my support while they're out there taking down an evil corporation. A show of support, huh? I could post a photo online of all the fan merch I've amassed. Maybe they'll be motivated by how passionate their fans are. <laughs> or be creeped out. Honestly, at this point, I'd just be creeped out. God damn. None of that's, none of that's a good idea. Who's available today? Ah, my boss. My boss wishes to see me. Now's our chance. We could boost our charm, but uh, we got our confidanting we can do instead, and I think that's uh, more important. Dad wants to go to Mementos, but I say nay, nay to that. Oh, An wants to hang out, but she's not available, or she can't be maxed, I guess. So you know what that means? We need to go speak to Jihiro. <laughs> she's um, she's right on the verge of actually hitting ten. I, th I think she's ranked nine. So we need to spend some time in here. The trickster who shall aid me. I wonder what this means. <laughs> uh, don't worry about it too hard, Jihaya. Don't, don't worry about it. Let's get this affinity reading. Uh, ah, and there you are. Yes, we'll, we'll, we'll have this fortune read. This is fine. I'll pay the 5,000 yen. Here we go. All right, is this enough to rank up, or do we need to do it another time? I didn't even know we were um, missing points with her. Nope, nope, we are good. That's it. What do you think? Uh, because of this, let's actually go finish her off, because the only other option is uh, Makoto the only other person so <laughs> might as well finish on uh she's in the underground walkway i don't think we have a wait actually no i think we do have a lover's persona don't we 
we do. Oh, okay. My uh, fear is uh, unfounded. Well, you're not in the underground walkway. She's in the underground mall. God, again, I'll never remember where anybody stands. Even though I've played this game before. Well, the original. <laughs> I'll never remember. We'll just have to wait for now. Hey, are you free today? Uh, I am indeed. Let's go hang out, Lady On. Thanks. It's a good special on me and Mika. Up close and personal with two popular models. I want you to be there for it. It's over at Seaside Park. Let's go. Uh, sure. Apparently, we've never unlocked Seaside Park. But uh, now we have. All right. Boom! Hey, don't pull a stunt like that again, okay? Okay, I won't. Huh? What's going on here? Oh, uh. Yeah, whoops, I clicked too quickly there. There, you fell victim to two. It's okay, but tell Mika Chan. You remember a while back when a bunch of models weren't showing up to our shoots? Oh, yeah, I remember. Well, apparently, Mika Chan was posing as our agency and telling them the shoot locations changed. We had heard rumors that she might have been doing it. We just thought people were jealous of her. I mean, those shoots she filled in for really boosted her popularity. Anyway, I asked her about it today, and all she had to say was I'm sorry. What I did was really terrible. I caused so much trouble for everyone. But I'm going to start working even harder from now on, I promise. <sighs> anyway, let's get started. You're ready to go, right? Yep. <sighs> you really did something that lame? What are you calling lame? This industry is overflowing with models. Without an in, your career will never even get off the ground. Chances don't come to those who wait. You have to make your own luck if you want to succeed. <sighs> you really are something. It's your own fault for getting the boot. If you can't crawl your way back up, you may as well go home. And either way, it's not like I'm not talented. I just needed my shot and now I'm selling like crazy. You talk big, but they still found out about your fake emails. Sure, but all I had to do was offer a teensy apology. It would have been dumb to try and hide it from them. Anyway, they can't sack me now. I'm gonna get even more popular, even if it means being detested for my actions. <laughs> oh. You're just like the villains I used to admire when I was a kid. Beautiful, strong, and wicked. Honestly, I just can't bring myself to hate you. Well, I don't have any trouble hating you. Sorry, Mika, but your hard work is only going to get you to second place. I'm going to be the number one model. You might be more popular right now, but I'll take that spot from you fair and square. Hm. All right, then. I won't pull any more tricks. I'll beat you with the beauty fair and square. Of course. Sounds good to me. Hey, there we go. Look at him go. Anna and Mika are both beaming at the camera. That's it. That's the way. Is that Mika? Wow, she's even prettier in person. Mika. Oh, and on too. They're both so cute. What must they eat to have bodies like that? The world is so unfair. They might have some natural beauty, but they gotta be exercising to have those bods. <laughs> well, they're 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 doing their their shtick. Something's changed in on huh? Yeah, she's really amped up the sexiness. Maybe she's gained some confidence. All right, let's take five here. Who could change, Mika John? <laughs> Man, this is so fun. Today has been really great so far. So, how was I? You really gave it your all. I could tell. <laughs> well, yeah. I had to work extra hard with you watching musical. Um. I know I said I want to be the number one model, but I'm okay with that not happening just yet. For now, I just want to keep improving, one step at a time. And someday down the line, I'll be able to look at myself with pride. Hopefully people will see that confidence and draw strength from it. I'm going to be a ray of light for the people of this planet. Just like you and Shiho are for me. <laughs> you can do it! You can do it! Yeah. Do it on. You got this. You're my light. Alright, time to get back to work. Hey. Let's hang out a little more once the shoot ends, okay? Alright, sure. Oh? Odd seems to be thinking about something. What are you wearing your pretty little head over this time? Back when I met Shiho, when she saved me, I realized that personal relationships are something to be treasured. That's why 
I'm not going to run away anymore. I'll face myself head on. This time, it's my turn to help someone. Hey, good for you. That's a good way to think about it. But I'm still kind of worried. Do you think you could help me? Yeah, of course. Mm-hmm. You can lean on me too, if you need it. Well, I already am. <laughs> I feel like we finally see each other eye to eye. I'm so glad I met you. I feel a strong bond between me and On. Hey, there we go. Oh, oh ho, here we go. I am thou. Thou art I. Thou hast turned a vow into a blood oath. Thy bond shall become the wings of rebellion and break the yoke of thy heart. Thou hast awakened the ultimate secret of the lovers, granting thee infinite power. Infinite power always sounds like a good deal to me. Boom! Rank 10, second awakening! All right. Let's see this. Right. Oh, we can uh, fuse Ishtar. We can fuse her, we can fuse her in face now. Bam! That's what I'm talking about. I can sense a new power growing within me. Right. Oh, Ans Persona Carmen has transformed into Hecate. All right. We'll be using that power very soon. That doesn't mean I'm gonna stop counting on you. After all, you're an eternal member of my fan club. Wait, what? What do you? What? Eternal? Wait. Hold on a minute. It means forever. Got it? Okay. Anyway, let's eat before our food gets cold. Time to dig in. Sure. Apparently I'm never getting out of this, am I? Evade ice. Now, what do we want to replace? I honestly don't know. Evade ice would be really helpful. And I know Ryuji has his version. Maybe we get rid of Lullaby? I, mm. Oh wait, no, I'm blind as a bat. I'm just sitting right there. Get rid of that, man. There we go, Evade Ice, boom. Fantastic, because that is uh, way better than Agi as a ah, spell. You're back. All right, who's, uh, ooh, Cup and Dad is available yet again. Uh, so is Chihaya. Now, see, here's the thing. I do remember that at some point, uh, Coffee Dad is gonna get locked out. Are you among those who are waiting to see the president of the company meet his judgment? I'm not interested. Yeah, get the hell out of here, dude. Uh, at some point, Coffee Dad will be locked to us, but I think we just get him to that, uh, that point in the confidant again, and then we can start hanging out with other people. So let's go ahead and help him out again. Uh, Sorry, and thanks. Oh, the regulars will be here any minute. Don't you ever get lonely, Sochan? You've been a bachelor for so long. Have you ever given up on have you given up on man marriage? I can't speak. <laughs> All I want in a relationship is spicy stimulation, followed by some smooth, relaxing comfort. And I can get both of those things for my curry and my coffee. That's enough for me. He always dodges my questions like that. He's so clever. By the way, what are your thoughts on Sochan's life of solitude? Uh I <laughs> mean to each his own, I guess. It's a real roundabout way of showing disapproval. Anyway, the only thing I care about in life is making sure my customers are satisfied. Nothing makes me happier than seeing people relax in here. Come back anytime, okay? Hey. She seemed especially aggressive today. It would have been bad if she pushed any further. But I guess food service relies on keeping the right distance from people. Not too far, not too close. Welcome. You just don't know when to give up, do you? Well, I just learned something very interesting. Futaba's been shut off from both school and society this whole time, huh? That's not good parenting. Yeah, and what have you done to care for her? You know quite well what I've done. It's about time you pay up. <sighs> don't be ridiculous. Futaba had a terrible life living with you. Because I already gave you most of the inheritance for the custody. 
That's still not enough for you. We can always find out in court. I wonder who'd win between a blood relative and a mere legal guardian. You. Oh, and not to mention that kid you have here. I've heard all about him and his criminal record. That leaves us with a parent who won't let her go to school and a delinquent housemate on probation. Doesn't quite seem to be the best environment for Futaba now, does it? Jesus Christ, man, you shut your goddamn whore mouth! You have a problem, punk? I'll sue you for intimidation. Just keep your neck out of this. Just get upstairs, okay? Sojiro, I hunger. Oh. Futaba chan, long time no see. I, uh, I, I. Futaba? See what I'm saying? She's a total wreck. This is clearly not a healthy situation. She's only like this because she saw you here. Hm, don't make her repeat myself. You can't beat me in court, so you may as well just give me the money. Well, I hope you reached the right decision. Bye now. Futaba, you should just head home for today. I'll take you. Sojiro. <sighs> Yaba's okay. All that drama must have tired her out. She fell asleep right after we got home. That man is Futaba's uncle. Uh, I had a feeling. Something about her blood relative. After Wakaba died, Futaba was passed around all her relatives. His place was the last. He treated her like garbage. He never fed her and forced her to sleep on the floor like that. What the fuck? He didn't even let her bathe. Once I learned that, I knew I had to step in. What? The the not feeding and sleeping on the floor didn't uh, wasn't enough? It was the personal hygiene? <laughs> I kid. But still, that's screwed up. Couldn't stand for that kind of horrible treatment, so I decided to take Futaba under my care. Even back then, he was whining about all the damn expenses. I threw some cash his way, thinking that would put the issue to bed. But now he's back for more. I don't even know how he managed to find me here. Maybe paying him was a mistake. Well, saving her was no mistake. I'll tell you that much. Thanks. I never thought you'd be the one comforting me. Either way, though, it's my fault Futaba didn't leave her room. I just didn't know how to help her through it. I'd make curry, leave it by her door, and go. If not for you, I'd probably still be waiting for her to come out. So if you ask me whether I deserve to be Futaba's guardian, my answer would be no. They say blood's thicker than water, right? I wonder what would be the best for Futaba. Sorry. <laughs> Look at me. Spilling my heart out to a punk like you. Though it's kind of weird. For some reason I just feel like telling you this stuff. It's like you're peering into my heart. <laughs> I guess there really is something special about you. Well, our bond is continuing to grow deeper. Coffee Mastery! We can brew coffee that greatly restores. I guess people right. like. I will happily take that mastery skill. It's already pretty late. I'm going home. Should be heading home. I'm still worried about Futaba. Don't stay up too late, you hear? Oh, and uh, thanks. Hey, no problem, man. Hey, three pips of kindness this time. Now, see, I think that's what the lock is going to be, if I remember right. We need to have max kindness in order to continue and finish this confidant. I don't know where the point is. It might be the next one or the one after. Uh, didn't mean to get you tangled up in this mess. Yeah, well, I mean, honestly, if I can, uh, if I can help you out somehow. No, you don't have to do anything. In fact, you ask is enough. Man, though, I never know what I'm doing when I talk to you. I just keep yammering on about stuff I never planned on talking about. You must be going senile, huh? <laughs> Seniles. I don't think senile's fair to put. Uh, you just keep looking out for Futaba. Seems like you two are really hitting it off, so. That's all I had to say. Don't forget to lock up before bed. All right, catch you later, Coffee Dad. Things will get better, I hope. At least a little bit. Hey! Oh, hey! It's, uh, time to read. Shit, I never got a book! God damn it, I never got a goddamn book. Well, I guess we're gonna learn this fish pond spotter. Hey! You already know about that area, don't you? Some kind of to read that now. All right. Oh, I finished reading it. Oh! Okay, then. Hey. Never mind. Oh, cool. We can actually. I did not know. Hey. 
I did not right. know that this did this. Oh, where, where is this going to teach me about? Takenoko girls are springing up like bamboo shoots. Hey. It's Harajuku. Ah, Harajuku. We don't really have much else to read. Oh. All right, well, I, I guess we're adding a new thing in here. There it is, Harajuku. <laughs> the fashion capital. All right. Oh, God. Looks like we never put that on the map. I need to go to the bookstore. Okay. Duly noted. We need to go see see about books before we do anything else today. Hey there. Oh, hey, uh, hey, Doc. Hmm. A lot of students here at this hour. It's refreshing to make my work commute at a different time every now and then. Well, what happened? Did you oversleep? Well... Of course not. I woke up on time. Although I am running late. On my way to work today, I ran into these old ladies carrying some heavy luggage. Three of them, in fact. So I was offering to help carry their things, but then my back made the sound that it shouldn't have. I know. Oh, no! Anyway, have you heard the news from Yoshizawa-san? Yeah, about the meat? <laughs> I'm so happy for her. Makes me feel like doing my best, too. Of course, as I say that, I'm running late. Well, hey, we all need to switch it up every now and then. Let's do our best for today, shall we? <laughs> oh, man. All right, you, you do you, my, my friend. Hope that, uh, hope that paper's going well. Let's get breakfast, and so now I'm hungry. Have you seen the totem pole at the diner in Shibuya yet? A totem pole? It's colorful? You know those people who can eat without falling over? I'd never be able to do that. Mm. Eating a totem pole? Without falling over? I wonder why they call it the totem pole. Uh, probably the way it looks, if I had to guess. Man. What does it look like? You didn't really think about that, did you? Mm, eating without it falling over. You might be able to improve your proficiency. Oh, baby. <laughs> well, we ain't doing that. I appreciate the thought, but uh, we we are not doing that. Not right now, at least. We have more confidanting to do. Oh, have you heard? Uh, seems so many of us have experienced that a term this that a term has been created for it. The English name for that particular phenomenon can be abbreviated to PVS. Ah, Phantom Vibration Syndrome, I believe. I need an answer. I fucking suffer um... from this all the time. That'd be a uh, Phantom. Uh, the V would have to be, uh, vibration. <laughs> and then, uh, syndrome. This is it. Good. Yeah, phantom vibration syndrome. I fucking hate it. My leg is always- My leg always feels like it's buzzing. 24-7. I don't like it. It sucks. My nice phone won't going. even be in my pocket and my leg will feel like my- <laughs> It's vibrating. It's fucking vibing. My leg is vibing without the rest of me and it's not fair. As a student, I get all worked up waiting for my SO to call me at night. Nowadays, people complain if you don't reply to a text you just saw. Kind of obnoxious if you ask me. I agree, actually. <laughs> we'll get to a point where we'll be able to read each other's minds. No, pass on that, thanks. Yeah, last thing you'd want to do is have on read your mind. The dirty, dirty things you must do to her in there, you dirty cat. <laughs> we got two more people. What are we doing today? Block. Ah, so Futaba is available. That is uh, fair. And Makoto wants to go to Mementos. This is like the opposite of yesterday, isn't it? Uh, there's Ryuji. There's An. There is Futaba. She is free. Uh, I guess we go hang out with her. Oh wait, hold on. Ah, oh, Cosme. Oh, damn it! I gotta, I gotta, I gotta hang out with other people. This is fine. Uh, go home. Go to the back streets. Oh, before we do any of that. Let's go get a new book! That's incredible! Welcome! Ah, you finished reading, Master Swordsman? How can I help you? There we go! Uh, proficiency, kindness, charm. Let's get some kindness going. Oh, I mean, actually, let's just buy all of these if we can. Yeah! And go somewhere else. So we picked those up. I don't believe there are any more books at the library per se or library i mean the uh this this the, the bookstore get you oh i just realized that. i fucking said it i just said it i've been forgetting to go get a new book from the library this whole time in school god this would have been made my life so much easier so much easier you like? i'd like to borrow a book we finished this one because we got new books the cry of cthulhu and the woman in dark guts and proficiency actually both of those i think Here. we need I'll take the cry of Cthulhu. 
Cthulhu! We'll read some, we'll read some Lovecraft. Uh, our guts is actually not complete, right? I'm not, I'm not losing my mind. Yeah, we're still level four guts. So guts, proficiency, and kindness. Yeah, that's what we need to, what we need to work on. Okay, well, without further ado, let us go hang out with the. Uh, actually, hold on. Do we have a hermit? Hermit, hermit, hermit. We do not have a hermit. That is really annoying. <laughs> that is super annoying. Ah, uh, crap. Well, I wonder, maybe, maybe we'll be okay. I'm trying to think. Maybe, maybe we would be okay with that. Got the hermit for this, uh, this first level. Right? This is the first time we'll really be hanging out with her. I think so. Or at the at the very least, this is the first time after the first rank, maybe. I I don't remember. What rank are we? Nothing to do. You have some time? You wanna get crack into that promise list? Oh yeah, sure. Let's hang out. Okay, rehabilitation. Step time. into my office, musical. <laughs> what do you mean your office? Alright. Okie dokie, let's get started on this promise list. First one is go somewhere with lots of people. Ooh, I got the perfect place. Hmm. Akihabara Wars, Revenge of the Futaba. Hmm? You're going to Akihabara? Be careful out there. <laughs> okay then. Hey, hey. Hey, did you see the tablet earlier? Whoever drew that picture was a real pro. Not as good as Inari though. He's got a particular pervy view on art. <gasps> Whoa, what's going on? Super limited sale at the PC section. Three terabytes for only 500 yen? What a steal. Three terabytes? Five bucks? What? What three terabytes? We talking hard drives? We talking solid state drives? We talking M.2s? We talking thumbsticks? Mayday, mayday. I'm trapped in the home appliance kingdom. The three terabyte war rages on outside. There's just so many people. I don't know how long I can last much longer. <laughs> the cough got out. Yeah, maybe we should go look for her. I get the, uh, I get the feeling we need to. Ah! Oh, hey. There you are! Hi. Hi, hi, hi. Uh, I was about to come find you, you know. Thanks. Oh, thanks. I didn't think I was gonna see you until the end of time. But then I thought about you while I was wandering around the store and BAM! A wild musical appears! <laughs> what the hell? <laughs> You're the one who appeared to me. Did you summon me? I I mean, sure. Wait a tick, I just finished a promise. Go somewhere with lots of people. Oh. Well, am I awesome or what? It's all because of the three terabyte war though. Oh, and because you brought me here. <laughs> I, Futaba Sakura, hereby thank thee. Her innocent joy. Hey, you know what? As long as she's happy, I'm not gonna, I'm not gonna complain. Right. Or say anything otherwise. I don't know though. I panicked hard when I was soloing that dungeon. I think not being with you is kind of scary, musical. All right. All right then. I'm gonna add another goal to my list: being okay without you around. This might be a long quest line, but I'll finish it someday. Whew, I'm tired. Okay. Going yeah. Home. Let's let's go home. <laughs> oh God. Oh, ring a ding ding. Hello. Hey, it's me. Thanks for your help today. So I beat the go somewhere with lots of people goal. First try too, not bad. I'm still not sure how I'm supposed to beat being okay with you without you around. Are this base so clear to no time, right? Well, yeah, I guess so. I'm... We'll both do our best. How about that? Woo, I got this. I don't care how hard the quests are, I'll take them all. Anyway, I guess the point is I gotta grind for now. Leveling up for a big encounter is basic stuff. I'm gonna do a little research. See if there are any other ways I can power up. Heh <laughs> heh. This is all kind of exciting, huh? Talk to you later. See you later, Futaba. Man, this this girl is filled with quirks I don't even know what to do with. Ah, you're back. Hello. Things are getting real crazy online. Phantom thieves have been trending all over the country. Not a day passes that I don't hear about talk people talking about the phantom thieves in the city, too. That just means people are really starting to count on us, right? This fervor may be too extreme. It's a dangerous omen. We could face great danger if anyone manages to discover our true identities. Oh, 
Don't scare us like that. Ain't no way somebody's gonna figure that out. Either way, this excitement has definitely piqued the public's interest in the Phantom Thieves. We'll need to be even more careful from now on. Why do we gotta be the ones to sneak around? It don't make sense. We're Phantom Thieves, you lummox! What did you expect? The fucking obnoxious intruders? We're Phantom Thieves! Ah, I... I don't even know what to do with them anymore. Hifumi wants to hang out. Okay, that's fine. Ah, uh, Kawakami's maxed. Nobody over here. Uh, Mishima. Now, actually, I think he's the one we go see. As, as important as it would be to actually go hang out with, uh, <laughs> as Hifumi. Uh, I think this is probably the one we should do first. Uh, thinking about it, I think there's anything we need to really do for the evening. Oh, God, yes, I know, twins. I know you're <laughs> watching me like hawks. You got so many things you want me to go do. Uh, I want to talk to you about something. Are you free? Yeah, sure. I'm free. Let's uh, let's let's chill. Let's relax go. a bit. Let's head over to the park. You know, I've been thinking about what Akiyama Kun said to me. How I've changed. For some reason, I couldn't bring myself to run away back when I saved him. So, I was thinking why that may have been. Well, you were doing pretty well for yourself there. <laughs> what? Did you find your answer then? Honestly, I was pretty desperate at the time, so I don't remember much. But in the back of my head, I was thinking what you would do in that situation. Who, me? I mean, you put yourself in a line to stop Kamoshida, and probably other villains too. So, I thought there had to be something I could do myself. Well, I mean, hey, it was courageous. <laughs> I was only acting out of fear, though. You know... I've always wanted to change. I wanted to go from the dull nobody everyone messes with to the famous world-renowned hero. But you helped me realize something important. Heroes aren't heroes because they're famous. It's because they fight for other people. Looking back on it, what I really wanted to change was the weak me. The me on the volleyball team who let wrongdoing go unpunished, even though I knew it was unjust. The cowardly me who looked the other way when people I knew were in need of help. Tell me the truth. I only changed because you stole my heart, right? Hey, uh, I got some news for you. Nobody stole your heart. Huh? You mean I didn't have a change of heart? Well, no, you did. But it's all you. You did it yourself. What? <sighs> no, it really was you. You changed my heart. The sure, but not in the literal sense. All this time, I've been looking up to the Phantom Thieves, pretending to be a collaborator. And now, I'm finally able to stop pretending. Truth be told, I had given up. I accepted that I was a zero, that my existence was meaningless. But I've learned. I may not be able to change the world, but I can change myself. Whether I sulk about my inability to do anything, or hold my head high and look to the future, my perception shapes the boundaries of my world. It all comes down to what's inside my heart. Well said. I still mess up every so often, but as long as you're here, I'll be able to stand up again. So, I may not be the best person around, but you can feel free to rely on me at least sometimes. <laughs> sure, I'll keep that in mind, my dude. No matter what the world says, I'll be rooting for you. Just like you were for me. We'll shake on it. I feel a strong bond with Mishma. I'm not surprised. Dude has done well for himself. I am thou. Thou art I. Thou hast turned a vow into a blood oath. Thy bond shall become the wings of rebellion and break the yoke of thy heart. Thou hast awakened to the ultimate secret of the moon, granting thee infinite power. Again, I'll say that infinite power <laughs> sounds pretty nice. Hey, rank 10 with the moon, salvation wish. All of our backup members will earn exact EXP. So right. everybody will be earning the same amount of EXP no matter who's out in front. So All now right. we can use whoever we want, whenever we want, without having to worry about uh, levels going screwy. We now fuse Sendalfin, the most powerful persona of the moon arcana. That's another completed you know link. What? I'm going to find you an awesome request. That's oh. all I can really do for you right now. 
but I'm working on that documentary too. I even plan on making it into a book someday. But I bet right? anyone who reads about the Phantom Thieves would find the hidden courage within themselves. Maybe that means I can use that book to change people's hearts. Honestly, you probably could, but uh, don't get too ahead of yourself there, man. <laughs> you have to write it first. All right, I'm on it. Oh, but before that, I'm hungry. Come on, let's grab a bite to eat on the way home. Maybe a buffet? Wait, no, we should save that for after I get all my book royalties. <laughs> you better be looking forward to it. God damn it. Okay, maybe some things never change. But you know what? I think that part of him is fine to keep. Little eager beaver. Ooh, what do we got here? When is President Okamura gonna get down and beg for forgiveness? Soon they get it done. These people, man. I don't know. Public's kind of scaring me. All right. I wanted to buy a present for my grandchild the other day. They had a Phantom Thieves costume on sale. It's built the end of this country if kids started wanting to become more like the Phantom Thieves. You're already in your second year of high school. You have a clear vision of your future. Looking for safety and stability to your civil servant is a good option. A gamer. Uh, me? Why don't you try? Don't you all think that civil service is all office work? But the fishermen of Na Nagaragawa, Nagaragawa are actually civil servants as well. What sector do they belong to? Wouldn't it be the, uh... Why do I feel like it's this? Oh shit, it is! Okay. This is it. Very good! I you knew that. Oh, the common fishermen of Nagara Nagaragawa. I can't fuck. <laughs> I'm so done. Are officially used by the Imperial Household. Those fishermen are granted spots in the Imperial Household's Agency Board of Ceremonies. That said, you can't break into that industry even if you wanted to, since it's a hereditary occupation. If you want a government job? Try for a spot in the diet. Some may say that's hereditary too. No yeah, I'm a, I'm a smart cookie. Nice going. <laughs> I ain't too bad. I got that max knowledge stat. Don't don't worry about it. Is there anyone seriously wants to improve this country? Hmm. There's probably plenty of people who want to improve the country, but uh, might not be in the way everybody wants. Our popularity and approval have been going through the roof. Yes, that it has. I'm a little worried about it, and I hope you are too, Mona. Could seriously become a problem if we're not careful. Ah, the thieves then has been updated, and who is available? On. Oh god, don't tell me there's nobody free. Oh, don't do this to me, game. Oh, okay, thank god Makoto's available. Uh, is that Shinya? That is Shinya. We're gonna go hang out with him. Uh, instead of Makoto. Or Futaba, honestly. It, it should be it should be that guy. Because we're gonna have plenty of time to max our all of our party members later on but we'll do that next time so when we come back we'll go hang out with shinya and grease the rank of the tower and uh, we'll see where that gets us but that is all for now this is the musical gamer signing off have a good one i'll see you guys in the next video catch you guys then